All right, I uh, tried to mount the camera in the back there, so maybe you get a little video while I'm running this thing, but see how well that works. It might wibble, wiggle a little bit, but. So we've been keeping the manure in uh, up here. We often hauled it out every day, but with it being so wet in the winter, um, made made more sense just to kind of keep it, just dump it out on here on the road, and then I'll just haul it out now that it's dried out a little bit. So let's see if I can get this camera a little more steady. So using the power reverse, right? I use it, but once I have it forward to do loader work, I find that you're much better off um, just using the clutch because the power reverser tends to, in my mind, you know, it works good, but it's a little abrupt and it's a little hard to control, right? So here you got just a little better control with the clutch. <clears throat> Some complaints on this tractor is that the clutch is a little abrupt, but I find. Um, you know, a person gets used to it, it works really, really well. I don't have any complaints with it at all. Once I've done the, the loader work, I do end up using the power reverser quite a bit. Some of the other things in the 5075E economy tractor, whatever they want to call it, things like your four wheel drive, your hydraulics and everything are mechanical linkages. So they do go through the cab of the tractor, <clears throat> which some say makes it a little louder, but from what I can tell, this thing's every bit as quiet. Uh, probably one of the quieter cabs. Probably even almost as quiet as an M or an R model. Uh, it does not have the air ride seat spring. Uh, it had a little squeak when I got it, but I took the seat apart, lubricated everything up, put it back together, installed it, and haven't had any trouble with it since. So that, that's something that's easily fixed too. Um, really, really no complaints about the tractor at all. It, it runs good, has good lift capacity, as long as you put good ballast on the back, it'll, it'll, uh, it'll work really well. Yeah, you can see it's still pretty, pretty muddy out here, but um, it's dried up a little bit, so it's a little better for me to run out now. So I had been hauling the trailer out, just filling up the trailer and hauling it out, but by the time you put all that weight in the trailer, the, there's quite a bit of weight on per square inch on those tires and they dig in a little more, so I just thought I'd do some today. You can see it's still not, not real dry unfortunately, but believe it or not it's a little drier than it was. So the plan is eventually to respread this back on the field. I got a good pile there that's decomposed nicely. And uh, maybe in April or May, I'll uh, get a manure spreader, figure something out to get it back on the pasture. Uh, for now, we need somewhere to put it. I find the cycle time on the hydraulics on this not, not real fast compared to something like a, a really good skid loader with the high volume hydraulics or high flow hydraulics on it, but you know, it does all right. It does all right. Really. It's not a self-leveling bucket on this one, which is fine. I mean, it has plenty of capacity. They say the self-leveling one has a little more capacity up the rating a little bit on it, but this does fine. So 
was nice to have air conditioning in this tractor because even on a day when it's not real warm out, by the time you shut everything, it's nice to have some air going. Or you can open the windows, uh, side windows a little bit. From what I can gather, the bucket that comes on this, with the six foot heavy duty bucket is a one yard bucket. So it moves quite a bit of product, it works really well. I only do a couple or three loads today just because it is still pretty wet out. We often we can drive around the trail around the outside of the property but it, I did too much of that when it was really wet in January and uh, I got to clean that up when it dries so I'm just going to leave it alone now.